wow, from dancing to food, I tell you, this is a great Monday. I'm right back in the swing of things now. So, Chris Dabrowolski, Schoolhouse Restaurant, nice to have you on again. Oh, no, you Thank have you. your gloves on. I won't yeah, shake your hand. Can't do that this time. <laughs> <laughs> you always have the most delicious food. And, it, and look at this. I'm loving this fall thing. It goes right with our pumpkins. So, it looks like you picked these right off the tree, but they're really chips, right? They are really chips. Yeah. They're just dehydrated sweet potatoes and rutabagas and turnips right. and beets and all that other fun stuff. So. Well, besides being one of the like, most awesome cooks I know, you are like one of the busiest guys I know, and you're starting a new cooking and New restaurant. New yeah. restaurant out in the village of Oak Creek in about three weeks. We'll be fully ready to go. Serenity Bistro and Burger Bar, named for my kids, and kind of make it. it a little more fun out there. So you have the a daughter named Serenity. Serenity. And a boy named Bistro and <laughs> no, Burger Bar. Kind of, but not really. The BB <laughs> Burger Bar for my baby boys, you know. They're, they're, you they're my older ones, but they're still my babies, you know. So Of course. Um, you're a parent. That's how it always is. It never yeah, changes. So. It never changes for some reason. In three weeks, and is it going to be by Schoolhouse? Where is it's this Serenity? It's in the same party? exact plaza, in the Collective Plaza. Nice. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening out there. The new owner, Thomas McPherson, has done an incredible job with bringing in breweries and wineries and coffee houses. I mean, just it, the plaza has exploded. When we first went in there, I think there's only four tenants in the entire building, and there's almost 100 spaces. Now he's wow. got a full painted, I mean, beautiful events every single weekend, which I'm hoping next time I can bring him on with me. That way he can talk about a little bit what Absolutely. he's got going on. Absolutely. We'll see. And I thought that, uh, you know, you were plenty busy with the you know, the wonderful schoolhouse restaurant, but obviously you're getting bored and you said, let's do something different. Why? Yeah, between that and the greens and everything else, you know, just kind of oh, trying yes. to find more stuff to yes, do. Yes, we have sprouts and, and all kinds of things. So burgers, bistro and burgers. burgers. So yeah. obviously you're going to have burgers as, as pretty much a specialty. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. One side of it, one side of the restaurant will be all um, burgers and things like that in our bar area. And then our other side will have more modern food like Schoolhouse does. Simple, clean, everything organic. Um, Which is really a trademark with you. you it is, everything you know, that we do is local, organic and local, yeah. as local as possible. You yeah. know, Arizona is one of the biggest producers of produce, but we ship it out everywhere. You know, right. there's, there's not a so lot of So you can't hardly get it because you can't really it You can't really get it anywhere, else. yeah. So oh, I'm gonna build a couple burgers real quick, just for fun. Um, so you can see it and Obviously to make you guys are, hungry. <laughs> yes, it um, works every time, Chris. Yeah. So burgers are a very popular fare. It's, it's kind of the American tradition. It's like we never get tired. But I know you, and yeah. so I know that your burgers are going to have some twists. There's a couple twists to them. The first one that I'm going to do is actually a peach blue cheese. Um, peach. It's, yeah, blue peaches cheese. and blue cheese. Okay. And, you know, it's... Pretty, it's as simple as it sounds. It's Told you it was going to be fresh easy. shaft blue cheese with peaches. You know. Uh, are so, you kidding? How do you figure out these tastes, Chris? I don't know. I just kind of get weird sometimes and start playing with. You food have a sense of it, don't you? <laughs> I mean, some people do. I do not. You know. You know, some people just don't get it, but there's others that do. So that's that's I think that's the what more keeps me employed. sophisticated palates, like I can eat just about everything and not, you know. Right. But but some people are very. Um, they, they taste things more individually. Right. You know, they have more sophisticated taste buds, like, oh, that's savory or that's salty, and I'm just saying, what? <laughs> a lot of times people are just messing around, and they don't really know what they're talking about anyways, but, uh, <laughs> but. They, they like to pretend like they, they know all the good food that's coming out. Now, so. these are different cheeses, too. Are these they? are all different cheeses. Okay. And we actually have a mushroom one also that we're going to Oh, like a portobello to... mushroom. Yeah, it's stuffed mushrooms. Oh if it'll come out of the plate. Gosh, I dibs that one right now. I'm telling my crew <laughs> that one's mine right there. Okay. So we have um, a mozzarella, green chili burger as well. So this is just fresh hatch roasted green chilies. Oh my god. Very simple, fresh hand stretched mozzarella, and red onions. Oh my gosh. I simple can't as that. Imagine they're so it's... beautiful, Chris. But, <laughs> but I know you, and when I taste your food, it is all the the different flavors are so amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next one is also, again, fresh mozzarella with small tomatoes. Now, we think of mozzarella with pizza a lot. A lot. But, you know, it's such a great creamy cheese, and if you do it right and you hand stretch it right, it's just the most... What do you mean by hand stretch? Um, well, we take the curd and we actually stretch every one. We take the fresh curd, really? warm salt water bath, and then we actually put the salt water and seasonings and everything. And as we do it, all the flavors get into the cheese, and you make cheese logs. Oh my gosh! Or mozzarella okay. balls. Okay. <laughs> so it's almost like making pizza dough or something. You're going to flatten it out, or essentially, you just, just... kind of keep mealing at it uh -huh. until it comes nice and soft. But you, if you you, you 
handle it too much, it becomes hard. And that's when you get mozzarella that's really hard and like you can bounce it. Um, real mozzarella <laughs> should not, not be like that. So, so um, doing it yourself, you can get it right. just the way you want it. And Wonderful. this is our Caprese burger. Unfortunately, I forgot the balsamic at the restaurant. But this is all of our beef is organic, fresh ground yeah. in-house, fresh mozzarella, fresh basil from the garden, and fresh tomatoes. And this would normally just have like, a white balsamic mayo on top of it. So. And, and I love this because, again, we have Caprese salad. We think of that. But I have never, I don't think I've ever heard of a burger. Stick it so, on a burger. It's just like, <laughs> because it's more, sometimes it doesn't seem substantial to me, just the salad, if you will, yeah. just the cheese you, and the some, tomatoes. A lot of people like that protein, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Now the last one is also the portobello burger. We put a little bit of fresh artichokes on there, or oh, sorry, marinated artichokes on there. And a couple red onions. Again, so like vegetarian, healthy. But yeah, this. And then, Even of course, people, meat eaters love portobello. It's like meat. It really yeah. is. It has a nice texture to it. Yes. And this burger definitely will have, even though it's vegetarian, will have mm. all the stuff that you need to make it taste good. Well, there's all kinds of vegetarians, you know. Right. So <laughs> that, that works for me. Absolutely. It works for me. And Beautiful. then, of course, the final is, um, try to find some good tomatoes here. They're having a hard time, ah. um, is your classic cheeseburger. Uh, aged white cheddar, tomatoes. A little bit of onion, and and so this is what you're calling classic. This what is your you classic say? version. Swiss? This is a uh, aged white cheddar. It's a, a one-year aged white cheddar. So okay, so it's, it's gonna have a little nip to it. It'll have a little kinda? sharpness to it, but nothing crazy. Okay. And so. then what do you do for a condiments? Because these don't look like, uh, like ketchup is not worthy of these things, really. You know, so. we have all that stuff. If you want to put it on there, go ahead. But hopefully, if we're doing our job correctly, you're not going to need a whole lot of that. I see. So. <laughs> all right, so this is the brand new Serenity Bistro and Burger Bar. Right. And that's where they're going to find all this. Fare. They're going to find all this stuff. And we're going to be actually open at lunch out there. Five days okay. a week, the restaurant will be open. Bistro is only open from 5 to 9 p.m. And the burger station or the burger bar will be open from 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock every day. Nice. So you right. can just get this all day. This is absolutely all day. fabulous. <laughs> Love it. There's absolutely not really gorgeous. another burger place out there, so we had to come up with something to fill that void. I know. And you were just bored, weren't you, Chris? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Schoolhouse, <laughs> the wonderful Schoolhouse, also in Oak Creek, same yep. location, same mall. Same and mall. then now Serenity a Bistro and a Burger Bar. Burger Bar. Chris Tarborowalski, thank you. Thank mm. you. I know, we're going to fall like vultures on this afternoon. <laughs> All right, don't go away. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.